Hi there, everybody. George Bruno, also known as the Sultan of Silver to many in the hair industry, with a nighttime pipe yabo. Stay tuned. Well, I knew that when this box showed up at my front door today from Lakeland, Florida, I knew there was going to be something good in it. And it's from John Keller. Many of you know JWK2366 on Instagram, and you've seen him on YouTube as well. I'm excited about this because he had emailed me and said that he would like to make me a cob. And the interesting thing is that when people send me things, and I literally have boxes and packages all the time at my front door, and I'm so excited about that. Some will say that they don't want a video. John did not indicate either way, but I'm going to do a video. He wanted to bless me with one of his creations, and uh, he said it would be an honor for him to be able to make a pipe for me. And for me, it's an honor to be able to receive that gift and fire it up, which is what we're going to do tonight. But let me read the note. It says, George, here's your at JWK2366 Cobb. This is not your grandpa's cob. He's right, and when I show it to you, you're going to be wow. I truly, I'm truly honored to gift this pipe to you as a token of friendship. Enjoy it, and may, may it give you many great smokes. You are truly a wonderful person. Please continue to let your light shine sincerely. John Keller, at JWK2366 Custom Cobbs. And I'm going to put all this information down below. And... In quotes, it says, see ya, which is kind of his signature way of signing out, and I really like that. And it came on a JWK postcard, which I really, really like. I think that's kind of neat. As well as some stickers, which are always fun. I have stickers here in the Van Gogh room, and I have, uh, I always put one sticker on my laptop, so my laptop is covered with stickers as well. Came in a nice box, packaged well, and I've never smoked it before. So tonight, you know, I put a lot at risk when I smoke a pipe for the first time on camera. It came with an Aristocob.com golf tee for a tamper. A little shout out to Scott from Aristocob. Now here we go. Nice uh, velvety pouch, a drawstring pouch. Let's pull this bad boy out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I knew from the minute that I held it in my hand that this was going to be a good smoker. I just knew it. Enjoying pipes is a multi-sensory experience. It, it's obviously what you see, it's what you smell, it's what you taste. And also, for me, it's what you feel. And the feel of this pipe is amazing. The fit and finish is second to none. A nice satin finish on it as well. I like the chunkiness on the top. This hardwood shank fits beautifully. Look at that. And on the bottom, the JWK2366 uh, round sticker, his branding, nice logo there. I like how that works. Now this, look at that, fit and finish perfect. And this is absolutely magnificent. It's got just the right amount of bend in it. And what I like to do is, <clears throat> I always like to put a tiny, tiny bit of beeswax, just the slightest amount. I have a, uh, a tube here with just a little bit of beeswax in it. And this is just my thing. I don't know if other people do this or not, but I will take a little bit of that beeswax and I will just put the slightest bit on there. 
Can you see that? The slightest bit. No chunky kind of thing. And that's so I never have to really put any muscle into. And I'll put that in, turn it a few times. All right, like that. Take it out. Any excess, I will wipe off. Any excess here. So now it's deposited inside the wood grain. So here we go. But never remove a, if you're going to remove a, a bit from a shank, a mouthpiece, it's called a bit, never do it while the pipe is hot. Just never do that. So, But that's something that I do. You don't have to do that with, with pipes that are a little bit tight. That's appropriate. So the feel of this pipe is amazing. You're going to have to go to his Instagram site and go to his uh, YouTube page to see these. They're absolutely 100% unique, different. Have him make a pipe for you. Now, as you know, I love my corn cobs. I'm kind of a what do they say, a, a cob snob? I like, I like pipes, but I'm a cob snob, so to speak. This is magnificent, so we're gonna, we're gonna fire this up tonight. I like it because this is thin. I don't wanna feel like I'm putting a, you know, like a big giant banana kind of thing in my mouth. I like it because it's thin, which makes it easier to clench. The button, that little thing there is called the button that keeps it from, if you're clenching it or have it in between your teeth, that keeps it from sliding out. Like that. The right amount of angle. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do tonight is, let's see. I think I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put in some Dunhill nightcap. And I, I take all my tins and I put them in mason jars. And this is from uh, August 2014, this particular one. So it's three years old. It's sealed up. Let me get a whiff of this. Oh, guys. You guys know that Dunhill Nightcap ages beautifully. I just want to eat this. <laughs> Actually, you'd be throwing up if you did, but the smell is just heavenly. Mm. So we're just going to put a little bit of nightcap in there. And while I'm doing that, let me just make a, a quick little apology to my Patriot friends. Those who serve on the streets, who wear the blue uniform, and those who serve the country defending the United States and its flag. I had the flag backwards. I had to, there's something behind this here, and I took it off. And I rehung it, and the stars and stripes were reversed. So my apologies to those who saw that the flag was reversed. It certainly wasn't intentional. I wasn't thinking, but I will give it more. Because I am a patriot, and I love my country, and I love everything that it represents, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, and I certainly believe that this is the, the finest country in the world. And I thank you for your service. And... If you were in front of me, I'd shake your hand. Because you did something and you're doing something that I've never done. And I value you and your dedication to our country and law and order, whether you serve on the streets as an officer or you served in the military. I appreciate that. I really. So let's fire this bad boy up. It's loaded right now with a little bit of Dunhill nightcap. And I'm just going to tamp it down with the Aristocob.com tamper. I will put the links down below. There's links to things that I'm going to put down below. I'm going to put the link to John Keller, JWK2366, down below as a way of saying thanks. If you would like a custom cob, you can order one from him. And check out his Instagram as well. That link will be down below. Aristocob.com. You'll get a link there as well. And then as far as Dunhill Nightcap. I'm not sure if Eddie Gray at the Pipe Nook sells it. 
if he does, I'm going to put that link down below. I will also put his uh, his link down below uh, for any other pipe tobaccos. But let's fire up the JWK 2366 Cobb. As he likes to say, this is not your grandpa's, your grandfather's Cobb. The draw is magnificent, absolutely magnificent. What a nice length, too. Let's compare it to uh, some other things that you might know. This is a, uh, a unfinished, natural country gentleman pipe. And this is the JWK. So let's take a look at the length and kind of match it up. Watch. So the Country Gentleman looks like it's about a quarter inch longer with the straight Missouri Meerschaum pipe. The actual barrel, the bowl itself, is bigger, but the hole is the same. So that just gives you an idea of the size of this. As I was saying, the draw is perfect. Absolutely, there's no struggling. I'm not hearing any whistling or wheezing or anything like that, which I don't want to hear. That's not what I want to hear. I want to puff, and I want to, I want to, I just want to puff quietly. I don't want to hear any gurgling, wheezing, or anything weird. And if you like Dunhill Nightcap, then you know what I'm experiencing right now. easy to clench. And I'm not really... People confuse clenching with like biting down. I know some guys like gnaw on their pipes. I don't. No, no sound at all except my slight puffing from me, but nothing coming out of the pipe. I like this nice thick shank. It's not going to get hot at all. It's not going to be affected by the heat. The finish is like a nice satin finish. See that? It's not all shiny. It's just, it's very muted. Kind of a matte finish. The weight is nice. The has just the right amount of bend to kind of hang down just a little bit. Nice. I like how he has the bend and the angle of the shank because what I can do is I can, like I said, when you when, when you put a pipe in your mouth and you want to go hands free, you want to make sure that that the leverage uh, where it just kind of sits in between your teeth. And you don't want it like going, you don't want it to do this. You don't want that. And that's what a nice wide bit will do. It'll give it a little more lateral stability. And the angle is nice where it's literally just kind of rest, it's resting. I'm not clamping down on it. Wow. John Keller, JWK2366. I will tell you this. Well done, my friend.
I just spent a week in Florida speaking at a conference. Spent a couple days in Melbourne Beach with my family, and then four days in Orlando speaking at the 21 convention, which will be going on again next year. All men need to go to this convention. I only had about three, maybe four weeks notice when I was invited, and I would have invited everybody. But as soon as I get the date for next year's conference, the, the men's conference, you're going to love it. Take my word for it. You are going to love it, especially the single guys, especially the, the divorce guys, especially guys that are in the dating world. You know, with so many, so many voices and signals confusing masculinity, it's nice to be centered. And that's what this conference does. But next time I'm in Florida, there's several people that I want to meet up with. Obviously, I want to meet up with John Keller. You know, it's funny just to share a pipe with somebody, sit down, have a pipe, and talk. It's awesome. Well, I could say this. It's definitely not my grandfather's cob. Definitely not. But what it is, is a perfect smoking cob. And it's a lifetimer right there. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Looks good. I don't even want to clench it much. I want to keep it in my hand. I'm really digging the feel of this thing. I'm just, I'm loving this. And it's light. And not getting super hot either. My hand is not burning. A lot of times cobs are good if you're working, splitting wood, working in the workshop, driving in the car. Cobs aren't always something like if you're wearing a shirt and tie or, you know, being a little dressier. A lot of times, um, You'll smoke like a briar if you're out in public or going at you like you're out in front of a, you're you're with friends or you're at a, an event or something like that and you're out in front of uh, the lounge or in front of the hotel smoking a pipe. Uh, a lot of people feel like they would want to smoke like a briar, something that looks beautiful and and not a corn cob. Corn cobs are very very utilitarian. They smoke incredible, but this right here, I would not be ashamed. As a matter of fact, I would be very proud to fire this up in any company, anywhere. I love it. John, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Folks, I'm going to put the links down below. You're going to love a JWK 2366 Cobb. It is a perfect smoke. If you want to order, let John know that you found out about it from me. Certainly, I am more than happy to um, refer you to him. He honored me by sending me this, and I am honored. And he said it was an honor to make this for me. That's deep, you know. Here's a little pipe toast to John and all of you watching tonight. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Peace be with you as always.